Kubernetes cluster management often involves a complex web of tools and manual processes. As deployment scales and becomes more dynamic, a fragmented approach can lead to increased operational overhead and slower response times. Well, that is exactly where model context protocol comes in. By centralizing how AI applications interact with your clusters, MCP enables automated and intelligent operations across your workflow. Hello everyone, I'm Sanskriti Harmok, a developer relations at Vulture, and in today's tech talk, we will introduce the concept of managing Kubernetes cluster using an MCP server. We will start by exploring the basics of MCP and its use cases, and we'll dive into a hands-on demo where we will understand how this architecture powers automation in cluster management. So, without any further ado, let's get started. MCP is an open standard designed to simplify the integration between AI systems and operational infrastructure. Think of it as a unified plug-and-play interface, much like a USB C port, but for accessing tools, functions, and data. It is model agnostic, meaning it works regardless of the underlying LLM or agent. It also enables real-time access to live systems, allowing for dynamic and context-aware AI interactions. And on top of everything, MCP significantly reduces the complexity of integrating AI across diverse and often siloed platforms. Let's understand the underlying architecture. MCP follows a client-server model that enforces a clear separation of concerns and enables a standardized communication using JSON RPC 2.0. On one side, we have MCP hosts. These are applications you interact with, for example, intelligent ITEs, cloud, desktop, or specialized AI tools. Within these hosts reside MCP clients, which acts as agent initiating requests for information or action. On the other side, we have MCP servers, which exposes external capabilities through three key interfaces, tools that represent executable actions or API calls that agent can trigger, resources that provide access to structured information, for example, a status of the Kubernetes cluster or system metadata, and prompts that deliver standardized instructions that guide AI how to interact with tools and resources. MCP isn't just a concept. It actively powers real-world automation and intelligence across workflows. It can handle routine tasks like managing GitHub issues, generating reports, or even deploying playbooks, allowing developers to focus on higher value work. MCP also provides a unified access to systems, enabling AI agents to interact with tools ranging from observability platforms to orchestration engines. By pulling context from multiple data sources, MCP also helps AI make faster and smarter decisions. And when it comes to compliance and security, MCP ensures that every interaction is auditable and follow a standardized protocol, making it ideal for sensitive environments. Now that we have covered the concepts and potential of MCP, let's dive into a practical demonstration. In the next segment, Mridul will show us how an MCP client interacts with a Kubernetes MCP server to manage Vulture Kubernetes engine cluster. He will walk us through setting up the server, configuring Cloud Desktop for interaction, and performing real-time Kubernetes operation all through natural language commands. Hi everyone, so let's start with the demonstration of how you can manage your Kubernetes cluster using a KFS MCP server. We are going to be following the article published on Vulture Docs provision a Kubernetes cluster on Vulture customer portal. So let's go ahead add cluster, provide a cluster name, we'll provide it to the label, choose a nearby location and click deploy now. Once your cluster has finished deployment, the next step would be to download the kubeconfig file of your Vulture Kubernetes cluster and configure it with your local system. Once you have downloaded and configured your Kubernetes config file with your local system, now let's go ahead and get the cluster context and download and run the Docker container required to manage our Kubernetes cluster. We are running the command to get the context of our cluster. So this is the context of our cluster. Copy and paste it in your clipboard as it will be needed to configure the MCP server with Cloud Desktop application. Now let's go ahead and install and run the Docker container.
As you can see, I have already installed the Docker container and my Docker image is up to date. So let's go ahead and run the Docker container. Here in this command, let's replace the VKE cluster value with the one of our own. And run the command. As you can see, our container has started running. Let's go ahead and check the status of our container in our Docker desktop application. Here, as you can see, our Docker container is up and running. That means we can now manage our Kubernetes cluster using this sample KTS server. Now the next step would be to launch the cloud application and configure its JSON file so that it can access our MCP server. In your cloud application, let's go ahead and open the settings menu. Here select the developer option, click on edit config, here as you can see we have the option to configure the cloud configuration file with our MCP server. So let's go ahead and paste our configuration file. In this configuration file, make sure you replace the KTS context value with your own Kubernetes cluster context and you have to replace the path of your actual kube config configured in your local system. Once you have done the required modifications to your configuration, let's save the file. You have to now relaunch the cloud desktop application. Now if the config is set right, you will be able to see all the tools available from your MCP server into your cloud local desktop application. So let's go ahead and check what tools are available. As you can see, there is an integration named Kubernetes. Let's go ahead. As you can see, we have been provided with a lot of tools from the KHS MCP server. Now let's go ahead and ask a simple question from Claude and determine whether it is able to get information for our Kubernetes cluster. We'll ask, can you provide the information of my KHS cluster nodes? Right now, the Claude is analyzing our prompt and sending the query to the required MCP server. As you can see, Claude is accessing the tools it requires to access our Kubernetes cluster information. So let's click on always allow. It can take a while for your query to be analyzed. The Claude will be able to provide you all the queries it is running and what information it is getting in raw form. The beauty of this KTS MCP server is that it is able to analyze natural language, process it, send it back to the MCP server and receive technical information and further analyzing it to convert it into natural language so that humans can understand. As you can see from our portal, if you remember, we have three nodes. The LLM has provided us with the node IDs and it has also provided us with the version of our Kubernetes cluster. You can ask similar queries or run advanced commands like installation of Nginx ingress controller. You can also ask the LLM what other tools does it have to get a clearer scope of what is possible to achieve with this KTS MCP server. That's it for this demonstration. Make sure to refer to the article link in this description if you want to replicate a similar setup in your local systems. To summarize everything, we have seen how integrating an MCP server provides a standardized approach to managing Kubernetes cluster through an AI-driven automation. But the possibilities extend beyond Kubernetes. As an open standard, MCP can connect AI applications to a broad range of tools, data sources, and functions across various domains. So, consider how MCP could streamline workflows not just in Kubernetes, but in any area where AI can enhance productivity and decision making. Kickstart your MCP journey with Vulture today by claiming $250 in free credits on a new account using the custom promo link attached in the description below. Thank you so much for joining this tech talk. We hope this has provided you with valuable insights into the power and versatility of MCP.